Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing, and gentlemen, please remove your caps while senior class members Maggie Crowner, Theodore Greco, and Delaney Washer Adams, under the direction of Pancrest High School Choir, Director Megan Rosinski, sing our national anthem. Please be seated. The senior singers will now perform How Can I Keep From Singing by Greg Gilpin. This piece will feature soloists Sophia Cosgrove and Delaney Rosher Adams. What though the tempest around me roars, I know the truth it liveth. What though the darkness around me close, songs in the night it giveth. I hear a real though far off hymn that hails a new creation. It sounds an echo in my soul. Thank you, Cedar Choir members and Ms. Rosinski. Good morning, platform guests, members of the faculty, parents, families, friends, and classmates. On behalf of the class of 2021, I welcome you to the 63rd Annual Commencement Exercises of Pencrest High School. 
During the ceremony today, a professional photographer will take an individual picture of each graduate receiving a diploma. We ask our guests to please stay in their seats during the entire graduation ceremony. Please silence your mobile devices so that everyone can enjoy this special moment without distraction. On behalf of my classmates, we also ask that you respect each student as he or she receives a diploma and maintain the dignity of this occasion in the Pencrest High School tradition. Thank you for your cooperation. Good morning. It is my pleasure to introduce the platform guests who are joining us today. As our honored guests are introduced, we ask them to please stand. Audience, please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. To my left, just off stage from Pancrest High School, administrative assistants, Mrs. Laura Del Casale and Mrs. Debbie Hoffman. Pancrest High School assistant principals, Mrs. Sharon Sweeney, Mr. Joseph Fuhr, and Mr. Samuel Evans. Rose Tree Media School District Athletic Director, Mr. Charles Ollinger. Simon Youth Academy Principal, Mr. David Stango. To my right, just off stage, Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction, Mr. William Dougherty, and Directors, Mrs. Krista Considine, Dr. Francis Garner, Dr. Vanessa Scott, and Mr. Thomas Halpert. Behind me on stage, the voice of Pancrest, Mr. Paul Del Prado. <laughs> Members of the Rose Tree Media School District Board of School Directors, President, Mr. Susan Henderson Udis, Vice President, Dr. Teresa Napson Williams, Mrs. Hillary Fletcher, Mrs. Jackie Gusick, Mrs. Shelley Hunt, Mr. Robert Kelly, Mrs. Kelly Schaefer. Superintendent of the Rose Tree Media School District, Dr. Eleanor DiMarino Lennon, and Principal of Pancrest High School, Mr. Ralph Harrison. Please join us in welcoming our platform guests. An example of the caliber of the graduates of Pencrest High School and the Rose Tree Media School District is our keynote speaker. The competition to earn a spot at the podium is open to every member of the graduating class. Students write speeches for consideration by the graduation speech committee, a group of students, teachers, and parents who select a speech that best represents the spirit of the class and the school community. It is my pleasure to introduce the keynote speaker for the class of 2021, Aiden Satili. Good morning. It is customary for a speech like this to begin with a quote. Some may choose Shakespeare or Abraham Lincoln, but after four years of Pencrest, I would instead like to share with you all a quote from my man, Winnie the Pooh. What day is it? asked Pooh. It's today, squeaked Piglet. My favorite day, said Pooh. We live each day one moment at a time. Some moments insignificant and small. Some huge and vastly important. Some moments we forget in just the next and others we never do. Each and every one of us has lived moment by moment these last few years. All of us sharing our moments together. We all shared that moment walking into Pencrest for the first time four years ago. Leaving behind Dr. Sal and Spartans and the sixth grade neon dance. We shared that first goodbye to our families that morning. We shared that moment of anticipation when we sat down for our first real homeroom in September of 2017. We shared moments of laughter at each other, at our teachers, and especially at our favorite subs. We shared moments of bliss at Friday Night Lights, Pride Days, and proms. We've shared moments of stress and exhaustion from 1159 Schoology deadlines 
to sleepless nights over Algebra II exams. We've shared moments of confusion, like that moment on March 13th when we heard Mr. Harrison give those fateful announcements extending our spring break, and then continuing into summer when we didn't know what our senior year would look like in the midst of a pandemic. We have even shared sorrows beyond all of our imaginings. Yet despite the sorrow and confusion, the stress and exhaustion, and the loss of so much, we still found those moments of laughter and bliss as Pencrest Lions. We have all made it, and we are all here now, in this moment. So I urge you to be present for it, because this is the moment that all the other moments for the past four years have led up to. Although we have shared many moments together, there are some that are specific to each of us individually. Families, graduates, and teachers. I want you all to take a second to reflect upon the specific individual moments that brought you to this one. Families, I want you to think about the moments with your child in these past four years. The moments where you watch them grow up and become the amazing person they are today. I want you to think about the moments you've been proud of them and have been grateful to have them as part of your family. The seemingly little and insignificant goodbyes and good mornings, those small moments that meant the most. Maybe even moments when you may have taken after my parents and seriously questioned if your child would even graduate high school. And now, because of your hard work and theirs, your child will walk across this stage today. Teachers, I want you to remember the moments when you were impressed by the class of 2021's perseverance, resilience, and ability to turn an assignment so close to the deadline. The times where our class stood out to you, maybe not always in the best ways, but stood out nonetheless. Thank you for being here with us through all of it. And most importantly, graduates, I want you to take this moment to reflect on all the moments that brought you here. The good, the bad, the boring, and the brilliant. Every little moment, every Spotify song, Wawa run, Instagram post, and Zoom bomber. Even that moment where you were sitting in that Zoom class all alone after falling asleep mid-lecture. All those moments have led up to this one, so enjoy it because it's yours. Now that you are finally in your moment, you are faced with your future. The challenges and difficulties that you will face are vast, but I have no doubt that you can overcome them. As part of the class of 2021, you have already overcome an immense amount of individual and global challenges. From a worldwide pandemic that resulted in Zoom classes, online learning, and social isolation, to a period of political and social instability where we fought for the rights of our fellow classmates. You have overcome it all. There will be challenging moments in your future, but when you face them, you will make those moments some of your best. And now, in our final moment together as Pencrest students, to leave you with one more quote from my man, Mr. Pooh. How lucky I am to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2021. School flags of each of the Rose Tree Media Schools and the Rose Tree Media Education Center were carried in today during the processional by Pancrest seniors who attended these schools. The graduates of the class of 2021 have benefited from the programs delivered by the faculty and staff who supported us in each of these outstanding schools. And today we acknowledge and thank the entire staff of Rose Tree Media School District for helping us reach this moment. The symbolism of our Pencrest teachers, 
seated around the graduating class is very appropriate for this ceremony. Our teachers overcame the challenges of multiple teaching and learning environments this year to make sure we continue to learn throughout the pandemic. More often than not, they taught us more than just the information in class. Our dedicated teachers have been our guides, and on this graduation day, they support us in this stadium. They guided us into the ceremony and are seated with us this morning, for they have not for they have devoted their time and effort to make sure we made it to this moment. Along with our parents, friends, and families, our teachers have left a significant imprint on our lives. We leave high school with broader horizons, more global perspectives, and more self-assurance because of you. For all of this and so much more, teachers, we thank you. Please stand and enjoy the recognition you deserve for making sure that we all made it here today. Thank you. Mrs. Clark and Mr. Virtue, our class sponsors, on behalf of the, of the class of 2021, thank you for leading us through this most challenging year. We have gifts to give to you at the end of the ceremony as a small token of our appreciation for all you've done for our class. I would also like to congratulate and wish all of the best to the three teachers who are retiring this year, Mrs. Schnars, Mrs. Walker, and Mrs. Will. You will all truly be missed here at Pancrest High School. Thank you for your dedication to us and to Pancrest. It is now my honor to introduce to you the Superintendent of Schools for Roastery Media School District, Dr. Eleanor D. Marino Linnet. Good morning, members of the school board, district administration, faculty, staff, family members and friends, and class of 2021. I know that many of you are a little worried about the length of my comments here today based on the length of the many emails I sent over this past year. <laughs> but fear not, I will be less than five minutes. I cannot tell you how heartwarming it is today to be with you all of you and to see all of you. This year, especially, we appreciate the opportunity to gather together in celebration and recognition of this important milestone that you have all achieved. Graduation is always a time of looking back as well as leaning forward into the future that awaits you. In looking back, we have all had to traverse a unique challenge together this past year one that our country has not experienced for over a century. As difficult as this year has been for everyone gathered here today, it has also taught all of you something about overcoming adversity. For some of you, this is certainly not the first time you have been faced with adversity, and for many of you, it will certainly not be the last. Adversity and challenge, after all, is part of creating a life filled with purpose and meaningful connections. But this adversity was shared with our entire community. And what we had learned is that our community came together to face the challenges that were laid upon us, and we supported each other through these difficult times. You all supported each other and took care of each other and watched over each other. You all learned how to do school in a new way you all coped with the limitations and frustrations. You all wore your masks all day, distanced and separated from the normal camaraderie of your peers and the easy and spontaneous interchanges that bind us together. You carried on, you pushed forward, and you made it. Your attendance here today is a testament to your ability to meet adversity and to persevere despite the challenges placed before you. 
and we did what we do here at RTM. We came together and sported and pulled each other to the finish line. In a year filled with so much anxiety and trepidation, you all made it. And I want you to take a moment to own that, to reflect on how you perse persevered and how you helped each other. Each of you in this class of 2021 are an embedment of what we mean when we use words like grit and courage and persistence. And I am incredibly proud of each and every one of you. And I know my sense and pride in all of you is shared by your families, teachers, and administrators. But today is not just about looking back, it's about seeing the future and all of the possibilities that now lay ahead of you. And I believe, perhaps more than most graduation classes, that you've learned something about what's needed to create a meaningful and successful future for yourselves. You've learned the importance of hope and courage and the ability to adapt and overcome. You've learned that it's easier to go through the world with some friends at your side. You've learned the importance of family and community. You've learned what you're made of. And whether you strive to become an engineer, a writer, a lawyer, an artist, an electrician, or any other profession, these lessons are the most critical ones as they serve as the foundation for whatever lives you may choose to build for yourselves. Optimism, perseverance, and a compassionate appreciation for yourself and others will serve as the bedrock of achieving your goals. Now this year has also been a different year for your families. You have all been home a lot, underfoot. Many of you lounging around in your PJs, for the most part. Some of you even in feed-in PJs, sort of like having a toddler. This is not what any of your parents signed on for, and so it's a little confusing for them. As seniors, you were all supposed to be helping your parents get used to the idea of you not being home, the gradual letting go that occurs as your children grow up. And now they have gotten used to having you around. In a few short months, they have to be ready to see you off to a campus, an apartment, or the military. Having you at all home this past year is going to make it harder to now suddenly let go. So be patient and kind and understanding with them. They may be putting on a brave front, but I can tell you that a piece of their hearts go with you wherever you go. This letting, thing, this letting go thing also takes courage and optimism and hope. The pride that all of your families share with you today is bittersweet. They see all that you have accomplished, but they also know that you will now need them, maybe not less, but certainly in a different way. And you will continue to need them. So call them, visit, and remember how much they love you. Be patient with them and remember that they love you and only want to see you thrive. Now I know your parents are sitting here full of pride on this very special day. All of you looking smart and accomplished in your graduation robes. It has been a long road of sending you off with your backpacks and lunch boxes since that very first day of school in kindergarten and then for the next 12 years of recurring first days of school that always hold a certain level of anticipation and excitement. They have seen you grow and learn and accomplish so much. But I will tell you, parents, that this road of independence consists of some weaving and wobbling. They look fairly put together and ready to be sent off, but there will be moments where you will be taken aback, and I just want you to be prepared. In my own experience of launching children into adulthood, I've had a few of these myself. On one particular visit home from college, I watched one of my sons cook macaroni and cheese by boiling the water, milk, butter, and cheese sauce all together and then adding the macaroni. So I said to him in the most non-judgmental tone I could muster, you know, you're not cooking that correctly. Did you ever read the directions on the side of the box? You actually boil the water, put the macaroni in, let it cook, drain the water, 
and then add the milk, butter, and cheese sauce. He simply looked at me, shrugged his shoulders, and said, well, it tastes fine this way. Now, I'm not sure if that's true or not, but regardless, it just made me quite worried at the time about what else was going on when he was out and about being his best independent self. And it made me somewhat worried about his so-called capacity to take on the world. But all is well so far. He is what appears to be a functioning adult for the most part, doing work he enjoys and able to support himself. I tell you this just in case you come face to face with one of those moments to try and save you some of the worry and hand wringing it cost me. They will be fine. Just remind them that some things come with directions and it's useful at times to actually read them. There are enough things in life such as raising children that come without directions so we might as well take advantage of those things that do. So class of 2021, read the directions when they're available. For the many things that you will face that do not come with directions, trust yourself. Listen to your inner voice. Remember what you have learned about yourself this year and approach the world with courage, perseverance, optimism, and compassion for yourselves and others. I want you to find a way through the world that feels meaningful and purposeful but I also want for you to find someone you trust with your life and your love. For this year, we have also learned how much we need each other, the fragility of relationships, and how quickly loss can descend. Surround yourself with a few steadfast friends who will help shelter you when you need to be sheltered. Celebrate with you when celebration is due, lift you up, but also put your in place when need be and sit quietly with you when just being present is more needed than what any words can provide. We have asked much of you this past year and you met each challenge. This year's earning of the diploma is so much more than just an academic accomplishment. It is a measure of your strength, courage, optimism, and persistence. Congratulations, class of 2021. Be safe, be well, be purposeful and compassionate as you create your future out of the many possibilities that lay ahead. Remember, you have shown that you have the heart of the lion and you will always have our hearts. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to Welcome to the podium, the principal of Pencrest High School, Mr. Ralph Harrison. It was hot. That was nine minutes. <laughs> I decided as I, as I was sitting down there that I wanted Lucas to come and give my presentation. I'm, I'm just joking, Lucas, you were great. All right, welcome everyone to the commencement of the class of 2021. Today we are here to acknowledge that the students seated here before us have completed the necessary requirements to earn a diploma as prescribed by the Rose Tree Media School District and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. If you are sitting here right now, you did. And we are just about ready to distribute diplomas. Before I begin my remarks, I want us all to take a moment to send our thoughts and prayers to the Keeney family as Tilly continues to recover from the car accident and to also remember and honor Shane Bowder, who we lost too soon. The Bowder family is here today and Mr. and Mrs. Bowder will accept Shane's diploma. Thank you for joining us today. Our thoughts and prayers are with you and your family. Now let's please take a moment of silence. Thank you. Class of 2021, we will forever have a bond because after this school year, we are both beginning a new chapter of our lives. But we still have some time to complete this chapter here together right now. Trust me, at this point, you are all ready to take a break from reading. So this will be a short ending to the chapter, about nine minutes. 
For the past five years, my address at graduation was connected to an experience I had from that year that challenged me to reflect and make, a, make connections to this moment. Well, I was conflicted this year because I made a personal commitment to do my best to not mention the following words during this speech. Pandemic, coronavirus, social distancing, mask, antigen, rapid test, quarantine, contact tracing, and hand sanitizer. Considering that the only experience I had, experiences I had to draw from for this speech took place during a time when all of these words were the lexicon and represented our reality, I had to pivot <laughs> and go a different direction. In order for me to avoid stating the words on my personal band list, here is my only comment about the past year, and it is a very thoughtful and deep observation. If we were not in the situation we were in, I am certain that no one would have watched Tiger King on Netflix and even know the name Joe Exotic, sure of it. So for us to end our chapters together, I decided to draw on a larger frame of reference, six years as a high school principal and beyond, and share some advice from my experiences that I hope will help you in your journey. My first word of advice is this. When speaking to a large group of people, be prepared, know your audience, connect with your audience, and most importantly, keep the presentation succinct. I will follow my own advice. The second word of advice, know your why, your core values, and never compromise these values. As you venture out of the bubble of Pencrest and meet different people and have different experiences and become more independent over the next several years, you will develop and refine your core values. I suggest you keep a journal and write down your core values as they develop within you. There is an assessment that measures your success in upholding your core values, and you should take this assessment every day. The test is a mirror. If you can look in the mirror and live with who you are and the decisions you made that day, you pass. If not, figure out why and fix it for the next day's mirror test. My final piece of advice was learned well before my time as a principal or a teacher. I learned this early from my experiences and from my parents and my family. My parents, however, never used what they would have referred to as the fancy big words. No, they did much better than that. They modeled this for my brother and for me. My final bit of advice is this. Have compassion and treat people with dignity. The following statement will help you understand what compassion means. Empathy, sympathy, and compassion are often used interchangeably, but they are not the same. Sympathy is a feeling of concern for someone else and a desire that they become happier or better off, while empathy involves sharing the other person's emotions. Compassion is an empathic understanding of a person's feelings, accompanied by altruism, or a desire to act on the person's behalf. The critical component of compassion is the action. When you leave here, I challenge you all to take action. What is dignity? Donna Hicks, PhD, author of Dignity, the Essential Role of Plays in Resolving Conflict, and an associate at the Weatherhead Center for International Affairs at Harvard University states the following about dignity. The most common response people offer is that dignity is about respect. To the contrary, dignity is not the same as respect. Dignity is our inherent value and worth as human beings. Everyone is born with it. Respect, on the other hand, is earned through one's actions. She continues, the glue that holds all of our relationships together is the mutual recognition of the desire to be seen, heard, listened to, and treated fairly. To be recognized, understood, and feel safe in this world. When our identity is accepted and we feel included, we are granted a sense of freedom and independence and a life filled with hope and possibility. And when we are given an apology when someone does us harm, we recognize that even when we fall short of being our best selves, there is always a way to reconnect. I'm sorry are two of the most powerful words anyone can utter. Think about how the world would be if we all treated each other with compassion 
and honor the dignity of every person around us. We witnessed a great deal of compassion this year from our teachers who knew that many students were struggling academically. I know that teachers had concerns this year with students cheating while in an online environment, or as you may tell us, utilizing your resources to problem solve. The teachers adjusted to this new challenge just as you did. I, however, am giving you permission and encouraging you to cheat on the test that I just asked you to take every single day, the mirror test. Here's what you do. Be true to your core values, show people compassion, and treat everyone with dignity every day, and you will pass the mirror test. The truth is, we need you to cheat on the mirror test, and we need you to pass the mirror test as frequently as you can. As your principal, I am requiring that you cheat on the mirror test. As trite as this sounds, you are our future. We need you to be better than our generation. We need you to work hard, fail, learn from your mistakes, learn from our mistakes, pass the daily mirror test, and move this country and this world forward by relying on a set of core values that puts others above self, people before profits, and compassion and dig dignity as the drivers of progress. Here is my succinct summary and what I hope you will take away from this speech. And I will ask you this if I see you around media after today. I want you to remember this. Core values, mirror test, compassion, and dignity. Class of 2021, it has been my privilege and honor to, walk al to work alongside you these past four years. We will forever be connected. And in a few minutes, this chapter will be over for us. I am certain that all of us here at Pencrest have provided you the foundation you need to start your next step with confidence. I leave you with my final quote from King Mufasa from the Disney classic, The Lion King. Never forget who you are. You are and always will be a lion. You will always have a home at Pencrest. And Pencrest will always be here for you. Thank you. Now let's get you your diplomas. <laughs> Dr. DeMarino Lennon, Mrs. Henderson Udis, members of the Rose Tree Media Board of School Directors and guests, it is my honor to certify that the students assembled here have successfully completed the requirements for a diploma from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, the Rose Tree Media School District, and Pencrest High School. The faculty and I present to you the 63rd graduating class of Pencrest High School, the class of 2021. Now I would like to introduce the president of the Rose Tree Media Board of School Directors, Mrs. Susan Henderson Udis. Thank you very much, Mr. Harrison, and thank you, class of 2021, for your um, patience, poise, and professionalism throughout the entire school year. I cannot emphasize enough how incredibly all of us are we're so proud of you. Um, so on behalf of the Rose Tree Media School District's Board of School Directors, I hereby accept your presentation of the class of 2021. The Rose Tree Media Board of School Directors is confident that all of you who carry the honor of graduating from Pencrest High School will have successful and fulfilling lives. Congratulations to all of you on your accomplishments and in your future endeavors. All the very best. I'm so very excited to hear what you go on to do in the future. Thank you.
Thank you, Mrs. Henderson Yudis. As many of you know, we have two students who are not with us here today, Shane Bowder and Tilly Keeney. Our thoughts and prayers have been and continue to be with the Bowder family and with Tilly Keeney and the Keeney family. Mr. Del Prado will call Shane's name first, accepting the diploma for Shane Bowder or his parents, Mr. and Mrs. Bowder. Let's show the Bowder family our support in the way they will best understand when Shane's name is called. The silent applause looks like this. Mr. Del Prado will call Tilly's name where her name falls in a roll call of graduates. Class of 2021, let's roar like lions and raise our voices in the loudest cheer that we can for Tilly when her name is called as a show of love and support for a speedy recovery. Mr. Del Prado, please begin the roll call of graduates. Shane Joseph Bowder. Isaac Walter Brokop. Eva Jude Morrison. Lauren Sandra Niss. Ashley Lynn Plick. Theodora Muller Greco. Owen Martin Schneider. Ava Marie Weiner. Olivia Lynn McPhee, Aiden Anthony Sotilli, Allison Joe Barsavages, Kathleen Jane Curran, Michaela Helen Clancy, Amanda Michelle White, Haley Francis McHugh, Claire Elizabeth Colmansberger, Robert Francis Ravinas, Samantha Joy Lyon, Ashley Elizabeth Rogers, Kaya Avian Bell, John Nicholas Ziegler. <laughs> Adithi Abalash. Fiona Marie Ackroyd. Mia Rose Adorno. Sarah Ann Algren, Faith Anna Aldrich, Tyler Joshua Allen, Zachary William Allen, Stephen William Woolery. <laughs> Raven Ione Amaro. Corey John Anderson. Denzel Isaiah Atkinson Boyer. Drini Barchi. Hannah Grace Barkham. Dominique Sienna Bassiano, 
Dylan Kenneth Batten. Tyler Calvert Calvin Becker. Danielle Bernal McCracken. Lauren Catherine Bialak. Riley Thornton Biddle. Tyler James Blessington. Brett David Bonebreak. Leah Rain Bornstein. Mike Anthony Bados. Tori Elizabeth Breckenridge. Angelina Rose Brown. Julia Renee Brown. Lucy Kirsten Buscalia. Brandon Calvin Carey. Daniel Harry Carey. Ryan Patrick Calderon. Thomas Ronald Cow. Christopher James Carmen. Danielle Elizabeth Carnival. John Peter Carnival. Olivia Jade Carney. Luke Bartholomew Cavanaugh. Dominic Gregory Chalmers. Delaney Erusion Chan. Benjamin David Chang. Corey Chen. Emma Catherine Chermall. Alexander Daniel Chung. Helena Carol Civarelli. Natalie Elizabeth Saferni. Julia Rose Kaufman. Max Colin Calizzo. Leighton L. S. Combs. Peter Gregory Conaway. Shane Patrick Connor. Abigail Jane Considine. Reese Olivia Corkwell. Veda Marie Cosgrove. Grace Elizabeth Daniels. Kellen Union Davis. Shane Anthony Davis. Nicholas William Dawson. Jonathan Eric Deutsch. Liam James Devine. Gabrielle Rose D'Antonio. Angel Daniel Diaz. Nathan Samuel Dickert. Rachel Alice Dole. Jake Terrence Dockerty. River James Downend. Gavin Holloman Dreyer. Timothy Robert Dresden. Sean Richard Dyer. Mary Elizabeth Elefante. Francesca Tonyara Epps. Colette Anina Ernst. Alita Jane Fanjoy. Shane Logan Farber. Kylie Jean Farron. Cameron Parr Fawthorpe. Leela Rhiannon Fazek. Thomas Joseph Feely. Anna Maria Fonarov. Sage Aline Forsythe. Caroline Alexis Folk. Ariana Celeste Fowler. 
Carly Jaylene Garland. Mia Catherine George. Emily Catherine Gilligan. Tyler James Goodwin. Jake Michael Graham. Max Colby Gruel. Noah James Greco. Gracie Claire Guerin. Jacob Eric Haber. Leah Marie Hall. Grace Ann Hamilton. Lucas Quentin Harding. Lucas James Hastings. Jennifer Odessa Heron. Ava Noel Hess. Hope Cora Hickson. Nathan Cornelius Holst Wrightley. Elizabeth Emma Hool. Ronald James Host. Jack William Hunsberger. Maxwell Day Innit. Alok Kumar Ishwar. Catherine May Kagi. Jordan Lee Kalinowski. Daniel Alexander Kane. Matilda Tilly Keeney. Jake Dylan Kearney. Gabriella Jade Keener. Amber Rose Kershaw. Liba Khan. Samarth Kandawal. Bandy Marie Corey. Chelsea Hana Kim. Chloe Hope King. Emily Marin Knapp. Benjamin Ryan Klinger. J. Lee Costell. Shane Francis Kubiak. Lillian Esther Kuntz. Jessica Caitlin Cantor. Sophia Lou Cosgrove. Matthew Jonathan Coulter. Kira Magnolia Crowner. Benjamin Gilmore DeLugos. Jake Edward Greenlaw Scully. Megan Lucy Gress. Elizabeth Grace Hughes. Christina Ann Kelly. Maggie Ann Merillat. Jada Yvette Hansen. Ananya Manisha Nasta. Delaney Grace Rauscher Adams. Dylan Knox Rice. Tegan Rose Schultz. Shane Thomas Kakaska. Jeremy Matthew Lehman. Ava Rose Lisisco. Lucas Richard Lindenmuth. Brian James Loper. J. 
Jonah Hayes Loper. Joshua Harrison Lindy. Marissa Danielle Lucenti. Brian Joseph Mackerton. Michael David McDonald. Jocelyn Riley McNamara. Matthew Thomas Malagis. Ariana Marie Mamakeri. Alexandra Maribel Mariano. Madison Amanda Marinelli. Mark Anthony Marquez. Liam Robert McAvoy. Sean Merle McLennan. Eli Austin McIntyre. Kennedy J. McGilberry. Kayla Rain McGowan. Connor Joseph Meek. Ava Cheyenne Menjean. Mason William Mayo. Tara Lynn Miley. Benjamin Dean Miller. Jake Matthew Miller. Kayla Justine Mystica. Dylan Paul Mitchell. Joshua Philip Moran. Nina Marie Maroney. Kara Ann Mullaney. Asaya Michelle Nance. Michaela Claire O'Brien. Tolani Deborah Olani. Mustafa Abdel Otera. Aaron Gilbert Pagan. Sydney Aaliyah Page Williams. Mary Margaret Pahitis. Zachary Rubin Paykoff. Elena Christine Palumba. Vaishnavi Paramaswaran. Patricia Josephine Pascal. Sophia Louisa Pastino. Harsh Mukeshkumar Patel. Liam Joseph Peel. Matthew Celestino Pinoni. Abigail Lynn Perks. Christian Joseph Petrin Curry. Gianna Rose Petschelt. Layla Sian Phillips. Xavier Rashad Pigford. Jennifer Marie Plick. Sarah Ann Poisson. Shayna Elizabeth Polsky. James Thomas Pompetti. Ryan Michael Poole. Briani Veronica Polis. Cooper Leon Quick. Delia Marie Quinn. Ava Christine Arego. James Clark Rainey. <laughs> Alexis Barbara Ranieri. Avery Grace Rappold. Lindsay Reed Rappold. Samantha Grace Ravinas. Christopher John Riddle. Amanda Marie Rodriguez. Rebecca Aria Swartz. Logan Jacob Sampson. Claire Sona Santangelo. Jasmine Renee Sarter. John John Savoy. Kira Nicolina Spondi. David John Scanlon. 
Eamon Michael Scanlon. Aaron Joshua Schulman. Rose Wen Schwartz. Spencer Hepburn McNeil Schwartz. Jackson Paul Schweitzer. Ilya Andreevich Semenyuk. Andrea Settenbrino. Kayla Michelle Schaefer. Sydney Marie Saravo. Clayton Alonzo Smith. Abigail Lee Spear. Victoria Nicole Stahl. Abigail Faith Stauffer. John Walter Stevenson. Lucy Ann Stewart. Liam Douglas Stolsteimer. Kristen Ann Sullivan. Robert Pasquale Sundo. Robert Patrick Seifer. Vincent Thomas Zolak. Emma Suzuki Schweikowski. Garrett Pencil Tate. Cameron Ciara Taliaferro. Joseph Thomas Talone. Sophia Marie Talone. Austin Wyatt Tipping. Fatumata Abubakar Torre. Tai Hui Tran. Matthew Maché Tylek, Jamie Lynn Unberger, Hunter Stone of Valenti, Victoria Mary Valone, Cameron Mackay Vaughn, Jack Gannon Walker, Isabel Rose Walsh, Abigail Lindsay Wank. Sione Sharice Warrington. Andrew Richard Weber. Nicole Vital Westcott. Andrew William Wickman. Carolina Alexandra Wyman. Rue James Wilmot. Garvey Michael Williams. Angel Marie Wilson. Jerry Mason Wilson. Deja Nevea Wingfield. Amber Elizabeth Wolf. Kaylee Jillian Woodhall. Nathan Adam Wright. travel with you. Please take the time to thank everyone who has brought you here today. We cannot have made it here alone. Thank you. Will the high school, Pancras High School class of 2021 please stand.
Tradition calls for students to enter the ceremony wearing the tassel on the right side of the cap. Graduates will leave the ceremony wearing the tassel on the left side of the cap. On our lead, I ask that all students flip the tassel to the graduate position. Congratulations, graduates of the class of 2021. Audience, please rise and join the senior choir members as they sing the Pancras High School alma mater. Aiden, I'm taking the advice from your speech. I'm just going to take in this moment. You all should. Parents, please remain standing for the recessional of the class of 2021. Now it is a great deal of pride that I say to you for the final time, class dismissed.